And now, WTOL 11 Sports, sponsored by Jim White Honda. Sports brought to you by Jim White Honda. Walleye in playoff action tonight, looking to take a one-game lead in the series over Redding. First period, though, was somewhat of a flashback to game one. Redding gets it down the ice, goes for it, blocked by Lurg. A little bit of a traffic jam in front of the net. But the Royals find a way to get the goal and take a one nothing lead. Moving on to the second period, Walleye still trailing by one. And it's the Spink brothers. Tyson finds Tyler to send it home and tie the game. But, well, one minute later, Redding lands a counter punch. Unique Tifu, Tifu Royals end up being up 2-1 to one after that goal. And the Fish end up falling 4-2, to two, the final. And Hensville was all eyes for the walleye tonight. Fleetwoods and Nine had watch parties filled with Fish fans. Our Jordan Strack was co-hosting the free event with Walleye Hall of Famer Kyle Rogers. And if you miss them tonight, you can catch them tomorrow. Same time, same place. Red Wings were also in playoff action tonight, hosting Tampa Bay for game four of the series. Lightning up 2-0 in the second. But then it's Smith and Glenn Denning working the puck around the net. And Darren Helm puts it away for the goal. Wings trailing by one. Still the second period, though, and Wings working, working the puck there, and it's Gus Nyquist this time putting it away for the tie with just nine seconds remaining in the period. Then we move on to the third period. Three minutes to go in the game. Lightning power play, and they end up getting that power play goal and end up with the 3-2 to two win. And just like hockey, plenty of baseball going on tonight, starting with Detroit Tigers on the road in Kansas City. Casey up 5-0 going into the top of the fifth. Two on, and Miguel Cabrera gets the line drive down right field. That would score two. And the 2-2. Then top of the seventh, two on, two out. Jared Saltalamakia sends this one deep over the center field wall. A three-run bomb by Salty puts the Tigers within three, but they wouldn't get it. Tigers end up falling eight to six. Indians hosting the Mariners. Carlos Carrasco on the mound for the Tribe. Scoreless through two before Mike Napoli comes through with this RBI double to deep center field. Lindor would come around to score. Tribe up one nothing. then bottom fourth. Seattle's Wade Riley loaded the bases on walks and ends up walking home not one, but two runs. And then check out this play. Lindor right here with the backhand. Turns and throws. Got him at first. Tribe ends up winning it 3-2 to two the final. Mudhens looking to come back after last night's loss in Indy. Down one, but Chad Huffman's about to change that with this two on, and he sends this one deep to left field for a three-run bomb, puts the hens on top, and Huffman isn't done. He brought his defensive game with him, too. Watch this. Foul ball, great hustle there, and he finishes it off in style with the diving catch for the out. Hens would add one more run in the ninth and go on to win it 5-3 to three the final. Some quick things. TJ Hunt is the new boys basketball coach at Central Catholic. RG3 made his practice debut with the Browns today. And agent Drew Rosenhaus officially cuts ties today with Johnny Manziel. And that's it for sports. We'll be right back.